In this video, we present a novel method for planning minimum time trajectories for unmanned aerial vehicles in real time, which is crucial for applications like inspection, surveillance, or search and rescue. We use point mass model approximation to model the translational dynamics of UAV for fast computational times. Using our new gradient-based approach for multi-waypoint trajectory optimization, we are able to generate agile trajectories significantly faster than existing methods, overcoming the largest stumbling block preventing their applications in online minimum time trajectory planning. The proposed trajectory generation process is composed of two main parts. The first one is the point mass model trajectory computation, which is composed of the following steps. First, closed form solutions to point mass model equations are found in each axis. To achieve a minimum time trajectory, maximum allowed per axis acceleration is used. To obtain a three dimensional trajectory, the axes are synchronized. To exploit the full actuation potential of a multi rotor UAV, a novel limited thrust decomposition method is applied to iteratively and efficiently distribute per axis acceleration limits. To account for real world conditions and minimize tracking error in real world flights, gravitational acceleration, and a linear drag model are considered. The second part of the pipeline is the trajectory optimization for multi-waypoint trajectories, where the velocities in the via waypoints are unknown. To solve this, we propose an iterative gradient descent-based optimization method. Displayed is a trajectory with one via waypoint. By finding the partial derivative of the trajectory duration with respect to the unknown velocity, we iteratively adjust the velocity in the waypoint to minimize the total trajectory duration. For trajectories with two or more via waypoints, at every iteration, starting from one end of the multi-segment trajectory and going toward the other end, we take two neighboring trajectory segments as marked with the sliding window and apply a velocity update step. The velocity values in the neighboring waypoints are fixed. Then, the trajectory is recomputed according to the update, and the two-segment window then shifts by one segment. This repeats, until the end of the trajectory is reached. The direction of updates alternates at every iteration for better convergence. For a given case, the entire trajectory generation pipeline proceeds as follows, we first initialize the velocities in the via waypoints according to the positions of neighboring waypoints. The trajectory is then optimized with fixed paraxis limits to avoid getting stuck in local minima. Next, the trajectory is recomputed using the limited thrust decomposition method, and the optimization process is run again with the limited thrust decomposition to obtain the fastest possible trajectory. To show the extent of the trajectory duration improvement when utilizing our limited thrust decomposition approach, we assess the average reduction in two waypoint trajectory duration, compared to PMM using equal paraxis acceleration and velocity constraints, and top UAV, which utilizes four fixed paraxis acceleration and velocity constraints distributions. Our approach resulted in trajectories up to 25% faster with the largest improvements recorded in agile flight conditions. We evaluate our multi-waypoint trajectory pipeline by comparing trajectory duration and computational time to sampling-based cone refocusing approach, which also uses point mass model, and CPC, which generates time-optimal trajectories for a full quad-rotor model. The performance of said methods is compared on a set of five scenarios, as shown. The main contribution of our approach is evident. The CPC algorithm takes hours to converge, whereas our method can generate a trajectory in milliseconds or even tenths of milliseconds for some trajectories, which is up to two orders of magnitude faster than CR method. The computational times under 10 milliseconds prove our approach suitable for real-time trajectory planning. Finally, we verify the applicability of our approach in real-world flights by deploying our UAV in an open outdoor environment, utilizing real-time kinematic GPS for state estimation. We record the maximum and root mean square tracking errors for our approach both with modeling drag-induced acceleration and without it, as well as for CPC algorithm. As anticipated, we recorded the largest tracking errors for PMM trajectories without drag modeling. However, 
PMM with drag-induced acceleration outperforms the CPC algorithm, which considers a full quad-rotor model, in three out of five cases, with very competitive results in the remaining two. The most significant advantages of our approach are observed in trajectories, during which the highest velocities are reached, resulting in the largest drag forces.